Well, good morning. Welcome and thank you all for coming to help us celebrate what's certainly one of the milestone discoveries in astronomy of all time and one of the greatest scientific achievements of Caltech and the birthday boy who, who did it. Uh, I understand the 50th anniversary is really in March, but this is within the error bars, so it's okay. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Tom Sofer, chairman of the division physics, math, and astronomy, who will welcome you officially. Uh, it's really my great pleasure to, to welcome you all to this, this uh, celebration of what George said was really uh, quite a historic event. Uh, you know, uh, you all uh, at your institutions bump into uh, uh, Nobel laureates and Kavli laureates, and they're a dime a dozen. But how many of you wa uh, know somebody whose face has been on the cover of Time magazine? I, I think that really says what the what the importance of the the events of 50 years ago were, and. Uh, th for the next uh, day and a half, we'll we'll hear some of the exciting implications of 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 those events. And with that, uh, uh, it's a pleasure to to greet Martin, his family, and uh, and uh, welcome this this conference. So, just a few logistical remarks. Um, if you have any questions, the registration desk is there for you. Uh, we will feed you for the lunch both days, but tonight for dinner, you're mostly on your own. Fortunately, Pasadena has a cornucopia of restaurants for you to sample, and there is some information on that. Uh, now, I know that all of you will be paying attention and not checking your email during talks, right? But during the coffee breaks, that's the Wi-Fi information. <laughs> It's easy to remember, Caltech, Astro with capital letters, lead and starburst, lowercase. Um, there is also visitor Wi-Fi. Caltech people, please use the BeaverNet. And finally, if you drove here, and the right place to park is in the garage, underground, under the uh, athletic field. If you parked on the street, you have two choices. You can either, during a coffee break, go and move your car, or you can financially support city of Pasadena. <laughs> so, um, and now let me introduce Marshall Cohen, who will be chairing the morning session. I'll just add my welcome. Um, it's a great pleasure for me to uh, first introduce Martin. Uh, Martin and I have been colleagues since I, I first came to Caltech, 1968. It's not 50 years ago, it's more like 45. So he antedates me by quite a bit. Well, half a dozen years isn't very much in time scale of 50, but for some of you, half a dozen years may be quite a bit. So it's a rather daunting task to introduce Martin. And I'll just say a few things. I have a make sure I get my numbers right. These numbers may not be right, actually. But I don't think it matters. So he got a PhD in Leiden in 1956, working with Jan Ort. And uh, three years later, he was at Caltech. In between there, he uh, worked on star formation. And uh, there's a famous paper in 59, I think, on uh, star formation and the intergalactic medium. And the result of that is now known as Schmidt's Law. And two or three years ago, there was a 50th anniversary celebration of that. So you see, what we're doing today is only the second 50th anniversary celebration for Martin in the last few years. So as I said, Martin and I have been colleagues for a long time. We were very close colleagues. We were in the same room until, <laughs> until a half a year ago. Some of you know that. And now uh, we've grown prominent enough, I guess, so that we can have our, we can have our own rooms. <laughs> and and uh, I'm not sure that's better. I used to see Martin every day, and now I see him. Well, I still see him every day at lunch, most days. But we used to have more time together. Yes, yes. Last Friday, Martin came around. So we see each other once in a great while in the building, but most days at the Athenaeum at the old folks' table. Martin and I are both old enough to rate a seat at the old folks' table 
I used to be well below the median age, but a few of our members, uh, unfortunately, sadly, passed away recently. Now I'm exactly at the median. I won't tell you how old I am, but you, it it's, uh, tells you something about the distribution of ages at that table. Martin's at the younger side. <laughs> well, I don't want to keep on going here. This is Martin's time, not mine. And uh, I was just going to mention that Martin has had many honors during his long and distinguished career. I'll only mention one of them. That's the Cavalier Prize for Astrophysics. Um, that was in 19, in 2008, five years ago. Tom has already mentioned one, which is being on the cover of Time magazine. I'm not sure if that's in his, sort of his vita or not, but it, sh it should be. Well, that's enough. Martin, it's all yours.